wrestling fans the following feature confrontation. It is set for one fall. Introducing first from Tampa, Florida, weighing 251 pounds, Mr. Wonderful. You're part of all this Paula stuff. I'm not part of any of it. Well, she doesn't like Paul Orndorff at all. We want to like her. Jesse, please. Paul Orndorff, the master of the pile driver, one of the greatest superstars not only in WCW, but this sport has seen, no doubt about it, over the last couple of years. And Paul Orndorff, a part of WCW, and a well-deserved thumbs down to the fans. This should be a classic one-on-one -on -one matchup. It's a rematch, so to speak, between two former television champions. Let's go back to the ring. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 241 pounds, Ricky Steamboat, the Dragon. As always, a spectacular entrance from Ricky Steamboat, the Dragon, here at Disney MGM. Absolutely, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I thought you hit the nail on the head, Tony, when you talked about two former television champions. We'll meet right here on worldwide television. The Dragon and Mr. Wonderful. What a matchup it ought to be. Look at the Dragon getting ready here. Whoa! There goes the Jose Cuervo. Did you say getting ready here? No, I said there goes the Cuervo. Oh. Steamboat about to fall on door. It is, if nothing else, it... you ought to drink that instead of spin it. We'll have the match right after this. There's the bell, and here we are. Steamboat and Orndorff one on one. Disney MG. Wait a minute. Now, what's the call for this? Maybe he's going to breathe fire on the robe of Orndorff. That's personal property. Now, the problem that we have here is that Orndorff browbeats the uh, young man or young lady who always brings the robe back to the dressing room. And so Steamboat, the big hero he is, goes over and snatches that beautiful robe after it's folded up perfectly and throws it on the dirty floor. You got it. And you can do it. You got it again. In the back. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm happy Mr. Wonderful's working over the dragon. Look at that. Because the dragon deserves it. That's personal property. If he wants to fight in the ring, fine. But there's no call for him to ruin Mr. Wonderful's beautiful robe. And at least he should pay the dry cleaning bills. Well, for I don't think he ruined the robe at all. But there's no doubt that Orndorff is taking the frustration out on Steamboat. Wait a minute. Almost a disqualification there. Look out, wonderful. Steamboat prevented a DQ, so to speak. Or no better for Do you think this is the referee? I think he realizes what's going on. Big chop and Steamboat now. Laying him in. Top of the head. Ricky Steamboat the dragon. Mr. Wonderful calling for a timeout in the corner. He's not going to get it, but he's going to get enough time to break Steamboat off his back as the crowd going wild here at Disney MGM. They love their wrestling down here in Orlando. And they love it all over the world, wherever you get worldwide. And, of course, this coming Sunday, Halloween Havoc on day for you. You know, I found out, Tony, that here in Orlando, Shaquille O'Neal is almost as popular as Mr. Wonderful. Oh, really? Almost. Mr. Wonderful have a shoe contract? He's got a robe contract. Ah, there you go. And so those people are mad at Steamboat as well. Cactus Jack and Vader spin the wheel, make the deal. Finally, the return of Cactus Jack in the ring. Ha. Huh. And it may be the last you'll see of him. So... I'd advise all Cactus Jack fans out there, definitely get Halloween Havoc. Definitely be part of the pay-per-view, because I'm predicting 
this will be the final time we get a chance to see Cactus Jack. Arndorf giving the advantage on Steamboat. What match will the spin of the wheel come up with in the next section? Well, nobody can doubt that Cactus isn't crazy, Tony. After what Vader did to him before, he's back and wants more. Yep, well, I, I'm not denying Cactus and his metal capacity. He's a nut. Look at Steamboat. The next time he takes Arndorf down, comes over the inside armbar. Very good reversal. Look at the strength of the dragon. Pulling up on that shoulder socket on Mr. Wonderful. That'll dislocate a shoulder real quick. Again, lifting wonderful about four or five inches off the mat. No question about it here on Worldwide from Disney MGM. You are taking a look at the fan bar as well. As two of the greats go at it. Steamboat and Orndorff, two men who really exemplify what WCW is all about, Jesse. Wrestling ability. Competition and the spirit to win, right, Tony? There you go. And a side headlock. Well, I'll guarantee you one thing. Spin the wheel and make the deal. There ain't going to be no goodwill in that. Nope. Anything but. And it's probably not going to resemble much of a wrestling match as well. I mean, you've got on there. Hello there, young lady. You have on there a uh, lumberjack uh, match with belts. You have a cage match. You have a barbed wire match on there. And you have Tim Falls count anywhere. And I do understand that even though Vader and Race wanted it, there is no leather strap match on the wheel, which is Vader's type of match. What happened? Lawyers get involved again? Maybe so. Sign headlock is applied by the steamer. F. Lee Bailey at WCW. Side headlock, his name is Michael Shapiro, and I wouldn't talk that much about him. Worse yet. Because he draws up your contract as well. Side headlock applied, over the top. Big, big hip toss that time. But a kick out by the Dragon. Andre making a snap more takeover. Side headlock. Or make that a headlock takeover. Thank you, I'll make it that. You can easily see how you get caught up in the action, Tony. You're thinking about spinning the wheel and making the deal. Two count that time. Notice how referee Nick Patrick is right in there with that right hand, making sure both shoulders are down. And there you go, a handful of tights. And he pushes him back over. You know what, too? I'm spinning the wheel. It ain't going to be no nice spin like Vanna White does, either. It's going to be a nasty spin. Maybe we should have Vanna come and spin the wheel for us. Back up. Holding on to that side head like the Dragon Ricky Steamboat. I can think of other things to do with Van other than having to spin a wheel. Drop to a hole and a reversal. For years and years, that woman wanted a date with me. Oh, belly to back suplex. Watch out. Both men are down. One, two, and a two count on Steamboat. But look at the dragon holding on to that side head like on Mr. Wonderful. Grinding that forearm into the ears. That's what'll give you a cauliflower ear, Tony. Back up again. A shoulder into the midsection and a headbutt. Right on the traps that time. And again on the side of the head. Well, they're going at it now. Arndorf and Steamboat. And Steamboat gets the advantage. Chopping away at Mr. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful caught him and clotheslined him. It was Steamboat who back in August defeated Orndorff for the television title at our Clash of the Champions event from Daytona Beach. And now Orndorff... What a memory you got, Tony. You pulled on backs out unbelievable. Well, that wasn't that long ago, Joe. That was about two months ago. That's ancient history to me. I bet it is. That's the way you politicians do. Let me try to do something, Mr. It happened yesterday. Forget it. 
snaps it over. Ooh, and drives the point of that elbow into the bridge of the nose. Look at Steamboat Megan. He's got the hands up saying, Mr. Wonderful, I've had enough. Please, please, uh, please. He is not doing that, obviously. He's in a lot of pain. Looks like he's going to throw up. No question, Hornbuck is going to the midsection. He's taking the wind out of Steamboat. Ah, oh, Steamboat, a little bit of uh, indecisiveness there, if you will. And it cost him. Orndorff laid it in again. Steamboat over the top. Orndorff. Nothing to grab on to. There he goes. One, two. Steamboat did not hook the legs over top of the shoulder. Wasn't able to do it, Mr. Wonderful. I think thumbed him to get out of there. Now wonderful going up to the top, it looks like. They love to go up to that top rope, and I've said it time and again. You better hit if you go up there. And wonderful, oh, he does. Comes down with a big forearm and elbow. I think he's knocked him out. Two count. What a match we are seeing here on this Halloween Havoc weekend. The big pay-per-view from the audience is this Sunday. You can call an order right now and be a part of it. And I tell you, Mr. Wonderful pulling back, driving the knee into the back. And look at Steamboat has to grab a handful of hair. What kind of sportsmanship is that? No comment, Don Tony. Well, it's a kind you like, right, Jeff? Your, how come it is when your guys cheat, you never have a comment? Elbow, top of the head. Because you do. And I let you make those comments. That's a way to get out of it, Tony. And who's the politician here? Mr. Wonderful, wheeling steamer in, into the buckle, nobody home. A big check. Into the corner, I'll make it to the left side. We have a sleeper hold by Steamboat, and Orndorff is caught in the middle here, Jess. He's in trouble. He's in trouble if he doesn't get Steamboat off his back or get to the ropes. He ducks underneath and drives him into the buckle. Both guys hurting now. Waist lock into a belly to back. Steamboat's in trouble. And Orndorff now will try to make a cover. There he slowly gets over two. And he could have cost himself a win that time as the belly to back took something out of both men. And now Orndorff looks like he's going up to the top again. He hit the last time. Can he do it two times in a row? Taking too much time up there, Tony. You got to hit it. Steamboat's up, waiting for him, got the feet to the head. And look at the rubber legs on Mr. Wonderful. No, Steamboat, you got to cover him before you count. Chuck to the chest. And to the top of the head. Shooting on to our fan. And now it's the dragon going up to fly off the top. Steamboat, big chop to the top of the head. Steamboat again. One more time. Look, here's the equalizer. A freaking partner of Paul Wonder. Oh, he's in the ring. The bell sounds. It's over. Disqualification. Steamboat will win it. But look here, both men double teaming Steamboat now. Saying, Tony, if you can't win, cheat. And that's exactly what Mr. Wonderful and the Equalizer are doing right here. Who's all saying is that? Yours? There's a stinger arriving on the scene. All four into the ring, Tony. We're all four are going at it. Halloween Havoc is this Sunday. Spin the wheel, make the deal. We'll see you in the audience.